It was Ann Ida. <laughs> uh, so this is from the week. The whole the whole week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists made one small edit to human embryos. It had a lot of unintended consequences. <laughs> Under the subtitle, nope. <laughs> <laughs> the, the week, nope, nope. <laughs> a funny. That's true. Is it? No. <laughs> a human embryo editing experiment gone wrong has scientists warning against tre- treading into the field altogether. Damn, that must have been real bad. <laughs> it has to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched the Family Guy where Stewie made him. He took Brian's DNA and got himself pregnant in his in his get Stewie the baby pregnant machine. Really bizarre episode, but the offspring were not well. <laughs> and that's what the image is going through. It's like a, a mix between a human and a dog, and and it was funny because throughout the episode, they just kept dying, <laughs> like in the background, while they were like not even paying attention, you know. It's like watching the fly with Jeff Goldblum in it. Yeah. Help me. Anyway. To understand the role of a single gene in early human development, a team of scientists at the London-based Francis Crick Institute removed it from a set of 18 donated embryos. Even though the embryos were destroyed after just 14 days, that was enough time for the single edit to transform into... Uh, where to fucking go? <laughs> that major... Unintended Quote major, edit. yeah, unintended edits, one zero po- uh, reports. I don't know what one zero is. Human gene editing is a taboo topic. The birth of two genetically modified babies in 2018 proved incredibly controversial. And editing embryos beyond experimentation is not allowed in the U.S. The scientists in London conducted a short-term research on a set of 25 donated embryos using the CRISPR technique to remove a gene from 18 of them. An analysis later revealed 10 of those edited embryos look normal. What was wrong with that? But the other eight revealed, quote, abnormalities across a particular chromosome. Mm. One zero writes, of them, four contained inadvertent deletions or additions of DNA directly adjacent to the edited gene. Mm. The unintended edits exemplify the single biggest concern of gene editing, Especially when it involves humans. So were they unintended by process? That's what it looks like. Okay, so sir, so they're saying that they went in to with CRISPR to put a gene in, and somehow the genes on either side or are also side. affected, yeah. inadvertently affected, right? But we've heard that there's CRISPR, and then there's like CRISPR Prime, and that CRISPR yeah. was like a was like using dynamite. And CRISPR, CRISPR Prime apparently was like using a scalpel. Like yeah. It was that, that big of a difference. So to your point, you know, good catch that, that what they're talking about may just be a be process related. Um, uh, and to Foyadur Yurnov, Ernov, a gene editing expert and professor of molecular and cell biology at the University of California, Berkeley, it sends a clear message, quote, This is a restraining order for all genome editors to stay the living daylights away from embryo editing. The results of the experiment were published in the preprint server BioRxiv, or however you say that shit. BioRx4, I guess. It's not. It's like RZiv. Oh, is it? And there's like S zip. There's like these are like it's like a thing. (laughs) (laughs) And there's different versions. It's like Ted, Ted X, Ted, what the fuck ever. Uh, which is yet to be peer reviewed and published in a medical journal. Okay, Read more at one zero, whatever that is. <laughs> we were one talking about zero. Zero. What is a one zero? Well, that'd be ten. Binary. It? I would think. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> uh, Morse code. 